And these are some of the posts that Cheryl and Tommy have written about us on Facebook. It says, we murdered two children and got away with it. Cheryl says, I think if we all got together as a country, picked a day and shot every pedophile and child killer, what could the authorities do? Tommy said this, soon the truth will be revealed, justice will be served, and a soul will burn. Don't believe her cocaine-induced lies. I've never done cocaine in my life. These two are monsters who abused and murdered Kira and Darby. Please be aware of them and protect your children and any children he might have contact with. Please meet Kira and Darby, two tiny sibling angels that through horrific crimes, including abuse and murder, they have been reunited. That makes me really mad. Cheryl says, we are all on to you, Julia. Tar and Feathers is next. Kiki, darling. Two years ago today was your last day alive on Earth. Tomorrow, your little body would have received a fatal brain injury. Bruises in the shape of choke marks around your neck. How can people even say these things? What I would say to Tom and Charlie is, I love you guys, but you're wrong. You have ruined and shattered more lives than just me and Cody. I want to tell you why these two say that you two are guilty of murder. I'll put it out there and then you can respond to each one. They say that first off as a backdrop, you were a bad mother. Yeah, that's what they say. That during emergencies, you refused to get help for the children, that you left Darby in the crib for hours and had little connection to him. They claim that you were too tired from lupus to deal with the children, but yet went out partying at night that you would sleep during the day and leave the children to run around unsupervised, that you were addicted to prescription drugs, and that the autopsy report stated that Darby had two broken ribs, bruises, and contusions, and that the autopsy states that Kira died from blunt force trauma to her head. They believe that you are a violent man who killed both children. They believe that you neglected both children and allowed Cody to do what he did. Now, I've, out of everything the two of you said, I've pulled those things out. So let me let you all respond. Well, that's what I've been here in the last four <clears throat> years, and it's all wrong. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. Were you a bad mother? No, I loved my children, children, and I took care of them. But when I was in Georgia, I, I, I got addicted to prescription pills, and I was lost. And where were you? And where were you? I was at work. Why didn't you call my family and give me help? I tried. So I call did. They didn't family. answer the phone. I mm -hmm. told you, go talk to them at mm -hmm. Fort Stewart. Go talk to the psychiatrist. I told you, I said, Julia, you need to go talk I to know, someone. I know, and I what needed help. You? you know what? I, what and I got home, you? and I found help. And people took care of me and helped me. And helped me get off of those pills. What happened that I, made you I, miraculously so better in the next 90 love days? Love and support and that good foundation. Did you go to therapy? No, I Did you go I got to detox from I the antidepressants? The I quit the pills. I, I, I just I pulled it together. Cody saved my life. Nobody realizes you've talked so much crap on this man for four years and nobody realizes what a saint he is. Nobody. They say why they think the two of you are involved in this, but you have explanations for the deaths that being there, you said they weren't yes. there, you were there. Uh, you say Darby received an immunization cocktail three weeks to the day before he died. Both of them did. That Darby's ribs could have been broken during CPR, as stated in one That's report. That's what they told us. Uh, Kira received an immunization cocktail shot three weeks to the day before she died. And that Kira always had bad reactions after she got her shots. Yes. That Kira fell in the bathtub a week before her death, hitting her chin in the back of her head. Kira fell on a carpeted bedroom floor the night before she died. That she vomited in her sleep, asphyxiated, and died. Darby and Kira were not murdered by you or anyone else. No. In, in your opinion. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.